Welcome back to the channel and today I wanted to show you what you could expect from Cathay Pacific's first class on their 777. Please follow me on Instagram at BrandonJohnson10K for behind the scenes looks at content that I will be reviewing in the future. So here is a look at the first class cabin on Cathay Pacific's 777. And here I was in seat 1K. So as you can see here, you've got a, it's a very spacious seat. Uh, now, while there aren't any doors, as you can see, you do have a one to one configuration, two rows of that in the first class cabin. There's not any doors, but the seat is very private. So you do have good storage at the seat. You can put a backpack coat in there. You got the in-flight entertainment screen below here. Yeah, I don't know what you would put in there, but you can put something, maybe your tablet. You can see the footwell. Do have slippers and some bedding, which I'll show you in a minute. And there's the slippers. I'll show you the bedding a little closer in a minute. So you had a blanket out there. And again, you're not gonna be restricted by this footwell. And you do have some space underneath the footwell to put stuff. You got the charging outlet, USB port to your right side. Three windows you got, as you see the sun coming in. So there was a bottle of water left at the seat. In-flight entertainment remote there. Got some seat controls little pouch there to possibly lose something you got a light up to your right headphone jack there so when you do open this you've got the tray table there's some more seat controls you've got another light to your left and again the seat is just so wide it's it's just unbelievable how wide there so do you have the tray table got it on the second try it's a very solid tray table now you can push that up and you should be able to get out of there when you push it up if you needed to use the bathroom while the tray table is extended so if we look up there is no uh no individual air vents and here's the tv so that slides to the right there so you do have a better view more in line and there's a welcome tea and a hot towel handed out. Now this is flight CX549. This is from Tokyo Haneda to Hong Kong. So roughly the flight is three hours and 40 minutes or so. So you don't get the full service like you would a regular long haul flight. So you'll see an abbreviated meal service. Here's a look at the uh, seat in the lie flat position. And here's a look at the bedding. So you got this pillow can detach from there you also have a pillow soft pillow there a little larger pillow and a blanket as well and here's the headphones both headphones which were fine so there was a pre-departure beverage service uh, yeah you got the welcome tea in the hot towel they also offered champagne and a moose bouche which was spicy tuna so i'll leave you with the takeoff and i'll be back with more on the flight welcome back so i wanted to take a look at the bathroom as we do before the uh well after the takeoff so really standard bathroom nothing uh special about it decent size so you, yeah, you've got the bamford toiletries which is what cathay uses and kind of old again this, this cabin's definitely seen its 
seen it age. We've seen it age through the years, but hopefully look forward to a new first class coming soon for Cathay Pacific. So started things off with the Cafe Delight and nuts um, before the meal service. I always got to order the Cafe Delight when flying Cafe or even in the lounge. So the meal service started off with the shrimp salad, uh, some kind of orange sauce. You did have the hot breads there, salt and pepper. It's kind of a weird uh, orange sauce. I don't know what it was. It tasted weird. The dish was just okay. After that, I had the green pea and mint soup. This was good. Might not look the most appetizing, but it was good. For my main, I had the uh, steam, steam, excuse me, steam Chilean sea bass with moral mushrooms and yellow fungus, and a black truffle sauce and that came with rice there. That was good. And for dessert, I had the chocolate souffle tart with vanilla ice cream. This was very good. Probably the best part about the meal. I skipped the cheese portion of the meal service, uh, by the way. So I did not have that. So I'll take you, I'll let you take a look at the menu just so you can see what was offered this on this flight. And I'll be back shortly with Wi-Fi and in-flight entertainment. Okay, let's take a look at the Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi is free for first class passengers. But if you had to pay, there is the rate. So you got a one hour pass available and a full flight pass, which is $20 available uh, to you. As far as the in-flight entertainment, as far as the selection goes, the selection is decent. Again, you'll, you'll definitely find enough to watch on a, a almost four hour flight. I, I would categorize it as decent. Uh, it's not the best, not the worst, kind of somewhere in between as far as the variety of titles that you have at your disposal um, with Cathay Pacific. And I guess the nice thing, you do have the camera option as well if you're wanting to view outside from a different perspective other than your window you do have the front camera option no tail cam on this aircraft so uh, my final thoughts on this flight again i felt like the seat the seat is very comfortable again this is an older cabin but the seat is very wide comfortable to sleep in i was able to get a nice nap in uh, the crew is actually the best cafe crew i've had to date uh, so that, that's a good thing. I guess one might expect that flying first class, but it's nice to see that even on a short route um, with first class. So this this cabin, it kind of feels like your grandparents' living room. It's just comfortable and relaxing, uh, even knowing it's it's a little older. <laughs> so that was that's kind of my take on the seat in the cabin. You get free Wi-Fi for first class passengers. Thought the food was good, but to me it wasn't as good as the food I had on um, on. Dubai to Hong Kong flight with Cathay Pacific and business class. So um, that was my experience in Cathay Pacific's first class on CX549 from Tokyo Haneda to Hong Kong. As always, I appreciate you watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share this with a friend. Thank you.